Hi audience, we have Garima Sharma with us today. Garima is a law student and finally she is starting her career in intellectual property in KNS Partners. So congratulations Garima. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Uh-huh. So awesome. Garima, how are you feeling after getting pays with KNS Partners which is a very reputed law firm I must say. Yeah, it's a it's a you know one in a blue moon type moment for me. So yeah, I was quite happy. Mhm. Was so, quite happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please continue. So it was my first interview so I got cleared the first round on <laughs> so for, I got the first interview so it was a big achievement like yes. awesome awesome so garima let's let's uh, do a little uh, like uh, I'll talk about your journey like uh, when you were in your law col- law college and how you were studying what were your struggles at as a law student like I I was a science student earlier I did mm-hmm. BSc then MSc chemistry Mm-hmm. So then I did law. So mm-hmm. I heard something about patent when I while I was doing law. Mm-hmm. So at that time I was not sure what about what is it all about and all. So when I completed my law, I was doing litigation. I was mm-hmm. practicing in Jaipur High Court. Okay. So then I got to know there is something in called IPR. Like there is a different field for IPR, and I got to know about it. So I was searching for some IPR forms and all. Uh, so I. i didn't know that uh, it it grown up so much that we need specialization we need special knowledge to crack through it so uh, i just got to know about iippa mm-hmm. so i got uh, i can uh, of course i connected with them so mm-hmm. i got to know that with including my science background plus llb it will be mm-hmm. it's like an uh, icing on the cake so i can do well in this so yes then i did i started with iippa mm-hmm. and i got a bigger picture about the like how this field is growing and everything which i didn't have a single clue earlier mm-hmm. all the thing awesome so when you transitioned from a science to a law background so what was your motivation behind that actually i want to go into uh, like after msc it's the fee, there is only phd or you can do that so i don't want to do a lab job and do mm-hmm. in- into research so i want a people's job mm-hmm. where i can interact with people i can mm-hmm. i thought either i i am the only black sheep in the family <laughs> it was a uh, it was a big task for me but still that was the reason i chose law okay so uh, when you were doing your law college and you also studied with iipt so what was the difference uh, which you felt really in the terms of education and learning experience the biggest thing is like uh, here there is no need of books mm-hmm. like the biggest difference that there is no you know you have to do that cramming and mm-hmm. clearing the exam because we know in colleges either or way you have some uh, ex- uh, like earlier ex- exam papers and all that you can do you have a go through like you will clear the exam but here the thing is i got introduced with what is patents what is the actual knowledge which we need actually mm-hmm. the, how to exactly what the field is what is the scope and you know that is the thing okay and how was the interview like what were the steps and uh, how many rounds they took were you nervous or were you excited as it was my first interview so i was not at all nervous because i knew there are many more to go <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that's very so positive much. side yeah. <laughs> yeah i thought this is the first one so uh, let's go for it so uh, when i got a call from them they scheduled the interview so initially the senior partner took my interview and uh, she asked things about of course i i pt was a big help mm-hmm. so i want to tell you something before also that i got an internship opportunity also from mm-hmm. that's too from a very reputed firm kran and kran adeli mm-hmm. so i did in uh, internship with them in ipr mm-hmm. then i i took a next step with so there was a uh, practical experience so i can answer the pra- technical questions as well that Absolutely. was a bit difficult earlier if i i would have interviewed them so yes and there was there were two rounds one mm-hmm. was uh, put to by the two partners of the firm mm-hmm. uh, very senior partners so mm-hmm. yes second time also they were both were there mm-hmm. and i just put my heart up like whatever i knew whatever i have learned mm-hmm. so they they also asked the technical thing on me like it was a it consultant job so mm-hmm. it was something there should be a technical knowledge so yes 
all the lectures i have gone through i i i made notes whatever i read everything before the interview because that only i knew what to do in in my first interview so i thought i will learn from this interview then i'll give the next interview <laughs> but yes like awesome awesome so coming from msc chemistry then litigating at a court uh, and then into ipr so what what's next for you darima what do you want more want to explore next i i want to know about it as you know this field is uh, the more you dig the more you found so mm-hmm. I, i want to go into particular this field want to be an associate then there are so many levels as senior associate in my ultimate aim will be of course the ultimate will be the opening my own firm but absolutely that, be a partner absolutely so garima and associate i see that in the future coming up <laughs> thank you <so> much. <laughs> awesome awesome so so great to hear and uh, you you made a quite a journey like uh, so how was like your family response to that like you are you are doing a lot of like career transitioning and entering into something different than other people like my family was always supportive they were always like whatever you do do give you 100% so they had a trust me in me that if i am doing because i was doing well in everything whatever i am doing still i was into that uh, seeking more that i need something i need something for myself so yes they were always with me because they knew that if she is doing yes there is something and i have proved it yes myself. absolutely <laughs> so that's the thing i i learned uh, only one thing that either take take a wrong, right decision or prove your decision to be right <laughs> yes <laughs> absolutely absolutely that is why you were say i'm a people's people yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay any special message you want to give because you have a phd degree as well i'm msc chemistry and phd and you you pointed out that i didn't wanted to work in a lab i wanted to work in an industry which was like people's people so and i i'm sure there are many people who do their phd and they feel now i have to work in a lab for entire life maybe they are happy or unhappy about it so any special message because you took a it took it must be a lot of motivation for you that i want to do this so what motivated you in any message for such kind of people like after in science as we all know like people enter into it they knew that either the there, there is a research or either you will be placed in some pharmaceutical or some biotechnical mm-hmm. company but i can say if they are interested in in not spending their entire hours in a lab and we want because they in ipr also include include researching right so lot have, lot to <laughs> read a lot so it's not a, you are shifting to a very different thing it's almost the same just the right. thing is like uh, it it works in both case like you will not be bored like doing the same thing big there will be a special motive for me for us to wake up in the morning that yes i have to do something so that's the difference i can say that yes interacting with people it's more of a personality development and more of a technical thing we can do and still be attached to science yes attached to <laughs> i'm There sure people who do uh, like they are into ipr by doing science also it uh, llb may be or may not be necessary but yes i have uh, I, in my recent company only i have a colleague also she is doing llb with, with her phd degree she mm-hmm. started doing llb but because she knew the scope with llb and science also but yes for science students also there is a scope but for the the, the court proceeding as well you have to need it so it's it's like a best combination for yeah me. yeah it is best combination even i have same combination <laughs> so yeah it is it is best combination it works for the science people who want to work in corporate so they can we can use both the knowledges and become the experts so, so awesome. i have heard about a patent thing Mm-hmm. i never had a single clue what is it all about so what iip mm-hmm. told me that it was a you know a trailer of the big picture it's like yes this is what it it gives a complete information about the entire field i i thought like oh this was the thing like this also exists in this world <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome garima we are entire team is so happy that you get to work with one of the top law firms in india and i see a very very bright future to you and welcome to the fraternity because ip community is a very small community still in india everybody knows everybody so it's it's a it's a good start and you will have a great future i i know you will enjoy this field very much 
yes yeah, i'll try my best <laughs> to do right no no you 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 are you don't have to prove me you are already doing well <laughs> already doing well all right thank you garima for taking out time to talk to me and congratulations once again thank you so much ma'am thank you garima bye take care thank you ma'am